Okay, this is John from MK1615 Evangelism Team. And today, uh, I am out here on Fort Lauderdale Beach. And for the last three days, I have been out here on Fort Lauderdale Beach with Pastor Mick and some of his students from school. And uh, the reason why they are out here is they are doing something that is so important to the body of Christ, that is very dear to God's heart. And it is something that Christians are fearful of doing. Can you guess what that is? Don't be afraid, but that's right. It's called evangelism. They are going to go out and tell people about Jesus Christ and that he will save sinners. Pastor Mick, I just want to thank you so much for what you're out here doing and um, you and your students committing yourselves to come out here and, and share the gospel of Jesus Christ with people. I have a couple of questions for you. Um, my first question is, what, where do these kids come from? What school do these kids come from? And it's a two-part question. And what have you done to, to train them in teaching them how to share the gospel? Great. We're from Coral Springs Christian Academy, Coral Springs, Florida, about 10 miles from here, okay. a little bit north. And this group of students here are all part of Mr. Felix. Come up here, Gavin. Okay. His, his yeah, Bible class. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy here has been training them for the last month, uh, going through a variety of evangelism programs, the way of the master, mm -hmm. evangelism explosion, and just some things from our own personal experience to help equip them to share their faith. So this is their first day out for practical training. And so I know they're excited, a little fearful, but uh, we do a lot of role plays in class, a lot of memory work, but they're ready to go today. Okay. For the last three days I've been with you, I've noticed that every day it's a different group of students. How many students would you say in total you have come out up during those three days? It's uh, about 50 students this year, maybe just a couple more than that. Okay. It's uh, about 15 to 18 a day, yeah. and uh, they've all been in class getting trained, and now they're ready to let them loose. Wow, that's right. And I want to quote you on something. You, you mentioned a term, and it said, pushing them out of their nest. Now's the time. What did you mean by that? Well, they've been in the classroom now, and they've been supervised, and so we certainly are with them, the chaperones, but we don't want to do all the talking. We want to let them uh, have the experience, so we step back, and we have the teenagers go and approach the different people and share the gospel with them without our help. Okay. Well, you guys ready to go share Jesus Christ with people? Yeah. Come on, let me hear you. Are you ready to go share Jesus Christ with people? Yeah. All right. Well, let's go do it. Okay, I'm with Gavin. Gavin, man, I just want to thank you for what you're out here doing with these students. And, uh, and you're one of the leaders, uh, and you're going to take a small group with you. I have a question for you. Um, how do you help them to get started with talking to people? Uh, first, just go out and demonstrate it myself. So take a group of kids. I'll talk to um, you know, somebody that I see and share the gospel with them. And then the kids stand nearby, see it done, and then... Eventually, I let them go do it themselves. That's good. And last question, how do they feel after they have conquered that fear about talking to somebody? How do they feel after that? Usually that it's pretty easy, that there's no, <laughs> you know, it's really not a difficult thing to do. The people they're speaking to are usually more afraid of them than yeah, they true. are to share it. I'm reminded of the scripture that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that's what these students are going to do is allow God to use them out here on the beach and uh, win souls for Jesus Christ. So, Okay, um, I have them talking to this guy here. Uh, they just stopped him and they're starting to ask him about things of eternity, spiritual things, and where does he believe he's going when he dies. And, um, you know, they're reading off of a, a paper, it's like a, a kind of a sheet to kind of help them and, uh, and guide to uh, be able to talk about spiritual things. But, you know, this was, they stopped them and uh, they're overcoming their fear right now. So that's a good thing. You just finished your conversation with, with, uh, with a group of people. Uh, what's your name? Brenna. And yours? They are. And yours? Nancy. Okay. How did it go? It went really good. He was actually um, a Catholic preacher, so we were talking and stuff. And okay. He what? had interesting opinions. Ah, like what? What did, what did he say he um, believed? He was asking about um, animals going into heaven too and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, he wanted, he was um, exploring that I, those ideas of maybe our favorite pets going to heaven with us. And we were talking and we kind of touched on that subject yesterday in Bible class about 
how animals, they just have unlawful physical activities with each other, kind of like how what we do when we're not married and how we're almost brought down to like animals when we do that outside of marriage. Okay. And what did he say about how a person gets to heaven? Did you guys ask him that? Um, or why does he believe he goes to heaven? Yes, he kind of touched on how we are good people and everyone is different, everyone has different beliefs. And um, as a Catholic, he has different kind of rituals that he partakes in in order to be a good person. And uh, we have told him that as Christians, we are free to earn the gift of salvation freely. And mm -hmm. we can either accept him and live an eternal life or not and will be eternally punished. So. And you know, one of the things is, it's funny because the Bible says in Romans 3, 9, for there is no one good, not even one. We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. How did you think that conversation went? I think the conversation, conversation went well. Um, he, he knew a lot. He actually questioned us on some things. And, um, okay. Well, you know, one of the good things, you guys, is, is that never fear fearful or be afraid to, if you don't know a question, or, you know, just say, hey, you know what? That's a pretty good question, and I'm really not sure about it. But you know what? I'll keep that in my mind, and when I get home, I'm going to look it up and do some more research on it. So then the next time somebody asks you that question, you'll be ready to give that answer. That sounds good? Yes. Okay, so how do you feel? You guys feel confident now? Yeah, yeah pretty good. You good? Yeah. All right, awesome, awesome. Okay, well, let's go talk to some other people. Okay, here's another group. Uh, you three, you guys were, did you get any conversations with anybody? Yeah, um, well, at first we kind of got rejected a little bit, but um, How did you on, feel when that happened? Be honest. It's kind of... It hurt. Yeah. Well, Jesus got rejected a lot of times, so don't take it personal. Hey, it's not about you and they're rejecting you. They're rejecting your message. That's the thing. But but so what happened? Well we um we went to talk to them and like a lot of them I think were busy and they probably like didn't want to like talk or whatever, but a lot of them I think like didn't I feel like they either didn't care, like they weren't comfortable, like maybe they weren't like so strong in their faith, so maybe they felt like we were gonna come out, like come at them or something like that. But then, like when we talked to a few people, like they were open to it and like they answered our questions and stuff, and it was cool. Yeah. Cause, like some of them, like um, so like admitted that they weren't like really as strong as like they probably should be and stuff like that. So it was cool like hearing that and stuff. A couple of people didn't even want to hear what we had to talk about. I was like, hi, how are you? And then they're like, we're not interested. And yeah, well, you know, the Bible says the preaching of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. They love darkness and they hate light. So sometimes, you know, talking to people, they just don't want to hear it, you know? Uh, hey, have you overcome your fear now? Uh, yes, I have. Um, I feel more comfortable talking to different people about the word. So so now I can go out and you know, somewhat preach it to people who don't know about it. Okay, uh, we are, she is getting into a conversation with this lady and she started to use some potty words and I kind of had to jump in there and say, listen, they want to talk to you, but no potty words using, please. Let's have a, a, a nice conversation. And uh, she's just very self-righteous. Uh, she don't want to hear what they have to say, really. Uh, she says, I just believe what I believe, and, and I'm really not interested in what you say. So, But they're still walking in love, and they're, they're trying. They're really trying to talk with her. So, you know, we're just going to um, just pray that uh, the Holy Spirit will work in her heart and uh, bring her to the knowledge of the truth. I'm so, sorry. They're talking to... Uh, some other kids here, these kids are skateboarders. As you can see, you see the skateboard there. And uh, they decided to stop them and ask them some questions. And they said, hey, you mind if we ask you some questions? And they're like, no, sure, go ahead. And uh, I really believe that the last couple of times they're really gaining more confidence in going up to people and, uh, and talking to them about things of eternity. So uh, I'll tell you, practice makes perfect. So uh, praise God for that. And I will be praying over this conversation that uh, that uh, God, that they will hear God's word and His truth, and uh, that they will repent and put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Hey, okay, wow! Well, they just finished that conversation with these two kids, and uh, and they were atheists. And um, you know, I just want to get their opinion. You guys had a good conversation. Um, how do you think it went? It worked. I mean, it was a good debate, but yeah. I don't think 
their minds changed at all. Can you say it louder? I don't think their minds changed at all. Yeah, that will have, but you know what the good thing is, is that you never know, you planted a seed, and all that's all we can do. You know, we can't save them, only Jesus can save them. How do you think, uh, I mean, sometimes does it get frustrating when you're when you're trying to convince people about Jesus is real and, and the whole thing, or what? Yes, it definitely gets frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you went in love, right? And that's the key, so. Guys, we're out here on the streets. We just passed another group out here uh, talking to people about Jesus Christ. Uh, how did everything go? It, it went well, actually. At first, I was like, I was kind of scared, uh -huh. but you know, I kind of like got rid of that scaredness and I wanted to do more and now it's like over so I'm just kind of like Boy, now you're, yeah. you're ready to go, huh? Yeah. All fired up, ready to go tell people about Jesus. I think, yeah, it was the coolest thing was I think that like it was weird to see how much people were really, were really willing to listen to us and we're like really inspired by like young people coming out here and like preaching the word and like really didn't know as much as you think you might think they know, you know? So it's, yeah. it's sort of this they don't even know we don't even know what they don't know so we just you know inform them and it was cool you know any anything is better than nothing so we're just well the, seeds, the so. best thing is remember what jesus said he never told us to go and save anybody he said just go and tell them you are planting a seed yeah. and we yeah. pray that it will produce fruit yeah yes. of course. you know did you get yeah. any tough difficult witness encounters with people oh, yeah. uh, mostly of it was course. rejections the first three encounters were rejections so complete yeah so yeah. that was so a rough start it was kind of tough um, getting how confidence did, up how did you feel when you were rejected uh not so good <laughs> but you know but, but, but go ahead but it was it was um good to get that uh and it was nice when, once they yeah. finally opened up it, I felt more confident to go. Yeah, and but, but remember this too, you guys. They're not rejecting you. It don't take it personal. Yeah. They're rejecting Jesus Christ. They're rejecting the Word of God. So it's you, their you, their problem is not with you. It's with God and them believing in that truth. So yeah. we take it and we just say, hey, you know what? At least I'm going to walk away from this conversation, letting these people know how much I love them and how much I wanted to tell them about Jesus and that He wants to save sinners. Mm -hmm. So. Praise God for that. You guys ready to go out and get into some more Witness and Guys? Yeah. All right. Well, we are finished and we're out here at Bubba Gump uh, restaurant to uh, have a little bit of food and take a little uh, break because of, um, you know, we we're out there evangelizing. And this guy, I, uh, what's your name again? Nick. Nick Rivera. Nick. I ran into you yesterday, me and you went out and uh, we had such a great time. And now today you decided that you went with somebody else. But how did your day go today? Uh, it was great. Um, I, uh, we noticed that a lot of the people that we were talking to, they said um, they believe that they got through heaven through you know their good works. Yeah. And it's really, you know, none of them really know that it's, it's true true faith that, that gets them there. And uh, it's really encouraging and, you know, just being able to see other people and even, you know, my, uh, my teachers and stuff, you know, being able to help them and help these people learn more about Christ and, uh, and uh, hopefully live a better life through, through uh, what, we've, what we've taught them and what we've showed them. It's yeah. a really fun experience and, you know, it's great. Did you overcome your fear? Yeah. This is your second date, man. Is, yeah, I mean, yeah. you're loving this <laughs> up, man. Yeah, I went last year too, so this okay, is, I'm cool. not, you know, I'm not, not you know, new to this, but I, so well, every outside year. Outside so. of this, you, on your regular life that you live, you're out there doing this, right? Well, I um, I lead worship for uh, our school's uh, okay. chapel band and stuff, and even okay. for my, my own uh, church, my, my parents are pastors, and I lead, uh, I lead worship for them. So, um, yeah, and I think, you know, um, Evangelizing and you know ministering to people can come in all sorts of ways. You know, you go through a beach and uh, you can talk to people there. And even if you're leading worship or speaking, giving a message to a congregation, I think uh, you can minister to anyone in any way. And uh, all right. God blesses people with different talents to be able to there do that. There you go. So. Yeah. All right, man. Well, thanks so much, oh, man. Thank all you, right, thank cool, you. cool, cool. All right, I'm with Alex and I'm with Jason. Let me tell you, Alex. I, when I'm in church, at times I sit behind you and never did I ever would ever knew that you went to uh, Knox Theological Seminary or you graduated, right? That's correct. Yeah, I, and, and, and Jason, you, I would have never pictured you as a pastor, but <laughs> praise God that I met you guys and, uh, and that you guys are out here, you know, really helping these kids to uh, encourage them and to, uh, to share their faith. And because, you know, I've been doing this for many years and one of the biggest things that I find with, with people wanting to go share their faith is they're fearful. They don't know how to approach people. They don't know what to say. And they're, they're even afraid of rejection. And yet um, you guys are 
taken a group out here and you've really helped to prepare them and, and even just to push them out of their nest and, and to help them. How is it How is it going for you today? I mean... It's good. I mean, you'd be surprised how many people actually want to talk and are interested and uh, it's really just a joy to share the gospel with them. Yeah. And, and, and the kids, uh, did, did were they fearful at first? I mean, how did you kind of like get them into that conversation? Or did you just say, here, go get them? Or did well, you kind of like walk them into it? No, I mean, normally sometimes I'll get a handful of kids and I'll be skeptical of how they're going to do. And every time I've been here, it's a couple years in a row, they're really into it. I mean, uh, they're <laughs> trained up, they're ready. And they really learn a lot just seeing what people believe and yeah. really just how little that people actually know. Yeah, so praise God. All right, awesome. Sure. Jason, youth pastor, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think what you guys are doing out here is awesome. Uh, you love working with the youth, huh? Oh, I do. I mean, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, come out here every year and really see the students uh, put their faith into action. And uh, I think one of the biggest things that students need to be aware of is not only knowing what they believe, but also why they believe it. Yeah. And um, I think when they are able to come out here uh, once a year, even just for a couple days, and actually explain to people not only what it is they, that they believe, but also why they believe it, I think it, it has an effect. And I don't think we automatically see the results, but again, we're not out here to uh, do what only the Holy Spirit is, yeah. is supposed to do, and that's regenerate people and bring people to faith. We're out here planting seeds, and ultimately we leave it in God's hands, and we're trusting that He takes the work that we've uh, done here these last few days, and He produces the growth. So um, it's really a great thing to see these students at such, such a young age uh, to be able to come out here and share their faith and to really take hold uh, of this calling that we are all called to uh, to do, which is to take the gospel and bring it to those who, who don't know and, and don't believe. So. Hey, we have ended our time here on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Um, we just finished eating a great lunch uh, at uh, Bubba Gump Shrimp. And um, Pastor Mick, uh, you know, the kids, I just got so many great responses of them being out there. And, and really, as you said in the beginning, we wanted to push them out of their nest. And let me tell you, they were a little fearful, but after a couple of conversations, they just were like on fire, man. They, you couldn't stop them. They were going to talk to everybody. And I mean, you know, you're experiencing this. You've been doing this for a number of years. Uh, you know, what is it that you love when you bring these kids out and to see, you know, what they've accomplished? Well, it's great seeing them putting their faith into action. You know, a lot of times Christianity is don't do this, don't do that. We're here, they get to go out and be offensive, not offensive, but mm -hmm. put it on the offense and really get the word out. And to see people get convicted, to see people uh, come to faith, see people um, even reject you, and you see the bitterness of hearts. Yeah. And I think one thing that impacts the kids is they don't realize how lost people are. Yeah. So many people are so ignorant, or they're, I mean, they literally don't know, or they're just good people, or uh, whatever other belief system they hold, mm -hmm. and how simple it is to share the gospel. Yeah. And it's amazing too how open many people are. You know, we certainly get rejected time to time, but over, uh, this is my 11th year doing this with the kids and we do a chart of the different things. Mm -hmm. And we bat 500, about every other person ultimately would talk to our students. Yeah. So it's a real blessing for them. That is awesome. And, so, and you know, I really love it because as you, you said, when the, uh, the kids, they, they really, they didn't know, I mean, when they talk to people and they're like, wow, I can't believe that person believes that way. And I mean, I tell them that you're on the battlefield. And when you're on the battlefield, you're going to hear a lot of different opinions of what people believe about what you believe. And and uh, it's just, you know, you really want to approach them in love and, and to be able to proclaim the truth. And, um, and then they even said, you know, one of the girls said, I said, how did you feel when you people are rejecting you? And she goes, I didn't really feel too good, but... Uh, she still said, but you know what, I keep moving on and, and keep giving and talking to people that will are open to receive that. And, um, and I really want to thank you because um, I was able to experience what you're doing on your end as far as training up these kids and, um, and preparing them uh, to be able to know how to share their faith. And not only that, just for this beach, but they're going to take it back into their own areas and in amongst their own friends and family and, and people that they run into and be able to apply that in life. So, you know, what you're doing here is just awesome. And I just want to thank you and, and uh, praise God for what you're doing. Well, thank you, John. And we appreciate having you with us, uh, sharing your experience with the students. Mm -hmm. And you're right, the students do take it back. I remember one year we came out in November 
and we're witnessing and a couple of the girls went to the Dolphins game the next week and all the people sitting around them at the Dolphins game, they started asking them the diagnostic questions and sharing their faith. So when you teach them young, I mean, it sticks with them uh, okay. and it's a real blessing for the kingdom. So yeah, thank well, you, John. thanks again. Okay. Okay, we just wrapped up three days of street evangelism out here on Fort Lauderdale Beach. And you know, I'm so excited because these kids, I was able to watch them put their faith into action and actually go out in the streets and talk to perfect strangers and share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them and let them know that Jesus saves sinners. And you know, we're going to pray. We're going to pray over those seeds that have been planted and we're going to pray that it'll take root in their heart and that it'll produce fruit of repentance and faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I'm reminded of the scripture. It says, the harvest is great and the labors are few. Not everybody's called to be an evangelist, but we are all called to evangelize. It's, it's the great commission. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So I'm so grateful I could be a part of what these kids were doing out here. And, um, and like I said, we're going to pray that God would save them, everyone that got a track, everyone that we spoke to, and, uh, and they would come to true saving faith in Jesus Christ.